We have made it to the start. Two, one, booster ignition, and the final liftoff of Discovery, a tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Acknowledging the call from Capcom Charlie Hobai as Discovery's three main engines throttle back up. Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bowen, mission specialist Al Drew, and Nicole Stott. Mission specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. Its altitude 24 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 29 miles. Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computers fine-tune the flight. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 3,189 miles an hour. Its altitude 37 miles, downrange of the Kennedy Space Center 53 miles. Discovery now getting a boost into orbit from its twin orbital maneuvering system engines on either side of the shuttle's tail. These two engines will burn for two minutes and 32 seconds. Your two-engine Tau, uh, we do have updates to your no-com mode boundaries, and we did launch late into pane one, our only pane. The uh, contingency aboard boundaries we'll use are in plane plus 230. Let me know when you're ready to copy the new press to ATO and press to Miko. Okay, copy all. Two-engine Tau is ready to copy. Pinto, your press to ATO 11.9. Press to Miko, 15.4. 11.9 and 15.4. That's a good read back on the book. <laughs>